the time word. has expired and I call the member for Ryan. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I have spoken before about the challenges faced by our neighbours in Papua New Guinea. They have some of the biggest health problems in the Pacific region, mm. often lacking the most basic health care and exacerbated by the terrain and remoteness of their villages. Recently, I was delighted to be invited to the opening of the new Pacific International Hospital in Port Moresby. The PIH has been paving the way for better health for the past 17 years. However, this new hospital will ensure even more access to healthcare services. PNG Prime Minister Peter O'Neill envisaged this hospital project many years ago when he was the young executive chairman of Finance Pacific, so it was great to celebrate the opening with him on what was also his birthday. The CEO, Dr Mina Sultan, has spent 15 years in Papua New Guinea as an eye surgeon in the private sector and a volunteer surgeon in the public hospitals. It was her experience working between public and private systems that allowed her to realise the value of public-private partnership models in healthcare. Dr Sultan, along with her husband Mohammed, have been the determined driving force behind this new hospital. The first Pacific International Hospital was established in 1997 as a diagnostic centre and since then it has provided quality health care in Port Moresby. The services and treatments the PIH provides include some PNG medical firsts. The first to perform a CT scan, the first with a hemodialysis unit. In 2001, it was the first private health facility in Port Moresby to offer 24-7 emergency care. It was also the first to use mammography and has now conducted more than 3,000 free mammograms. The new hospital will offer treatment that has previously only been available offshore, including specialist services to treat diseases affecting the heart, brain, eyes and women's health. There are four operating theatres for general surgery, orthopaedics, gynaecology, cardiac and neurological surgeries. The new hospital will now also be able to offer open heart surgery all year round and includes an MRI machine. They will also continue to provide a discount to public patients on MRI and cardiac that are unavailable at the public hospital as they have previously done with CT scan services. These are all services we take for granted in Australia, but this will make a major difference to the health of the people of Papua New Guinea. The hospital is also keen to collaborate with other health facilities to work towards making affordable quality health care available to every Papua New Guinean. Madam Deputy Speaker, this is a massive step forward in improving the health of people who previously had no other option but to go overseas or have no treatment at all. Indeed, as I've said previously, people will now want to be medevaced into Port Moresby to access these new leading edge health facilities. Excellent. Once again, I congratulate Dr Amina and Mohammed Sultan, and I know the member for MacArthur uh, supports me, Macquarie supports me, and the PNG government for their determination and perseverance to not only make this new facility a reality, but also Order. for their continued commitment to improving health care. The member's time has, ex has expired.